Okay, so can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Faith Barathi. I am from Dallas, Texas. I'm originally from Kenya. I'm working on my master's program now at Dallas Theological Seminary. And I came to Jamaica to um, do a practice internship for counseling. And I've been working at Ferdy's house. Um, we work with people who have mental disorders. And it's a group home and um, clubhouse, sort of, that helps facilitate transition from institutions back into civilization. So what made you, what made you decide to intern in Jamaica? Well, the heart for Jamaica began when I was around seven years old. My father had came here on his own mission trip and told me all about the country. And I just really enjoyed the stories and what he showed me. And um, since then, my heart's been longing to be here. And as I grew older and I developed more skills and talents, I realized a great need for uh, mental health professionals in Jamaica. And so my heart just grew even more for the country. And so I decided to make efforts to come here. And now I'm here. <laughs> so how long are you here for? I've been here a month since the beginning of June and I leave at the end of the month. Great. So what was a typical day like? A typical day um, at Ferdy's house um, was we would come in, do a feelings check, get acquainted with one another, say our greetings, and then they would go into skills class, which would allow them to build um, different talents like um, computer skills and painting and different types of art and they would study economics, biology, certain things like that. That would just build their autonomy as well as um, encourage them to continue doing something productive with their life. And then we would have opportunity for individual counseling sessions for those who are at most at crisis and make sure that there's uh, medication adherence. And then later on in the day, we would do a skills class that would allow them to work on certain um, skills like their self-esteem or um, their understanding of certain street drugs and things of that nature. So it was just a day full of fun and laughter and a lot of encouragement for everyone there. And um, then we'd go home. <laughs> so besides Ferdis House, where else have you visited? Um, we also have group homes with the program and I would get to go visit the residents in their homes um, and help facilitate activities along with the nurses and other staff members that are there. And then um, we also got to go on small tours with the group to um, National Heroes Park. And one of the clients actually was very knowledgeable of all the heroes in Jamaica and gave me a very um, great tour. And I learned so much. And then aside from uh, the project, we got to do adventures on the weekends, excursions. Um, I've been to Hellshire Beach, which was amazing. The simplicity was beautiful, the water was beautiful, the people, the food, everything was amazing. Um, and then on another time, we went to Boston Beach, which was more private. Um, and I had lobster while I was there and got to talk to some of the locals and we got to swim and the be beach there is probably the best beach I've ever seen in my life. Um, we went to Mar the Maroon Town, I believe it was called, and we got to see the first woman, Gamma, being instilled in office. And um, we went to Portland and so many places, even like Kingston, seeing UE, and just, I've just seen like so much Jamaica in one month, like it's ridiculous. And I love it. I love every aspect of Jamaica. It's beautiful. The people are beautiful. The culture is just alive and everything's perfect. <laughs> so, have you met any interesting people? Of course I have. I have met the most interesting people. People just come up to you and talk to you and they just tell you certain stories about themselves and um, the, even the clients that I work with, all of them are so unique. You look at them on the front hand and you see someone with a mental disorder, but if you dig deeper, you find that they're so rich and such knowledge and different things. There's some people that are just geniuses. There's one lady there and she's like phenomenal on the piano. 
Um, there's another client who does um, sort of this abstract art with aliens and paradise. It's just amazing. And at the front, you won't think that they have all these skills and abilities, but in fact, they're the most amazing people I've ever met. And even the other um, volunteers here, they have been amazing. It's crazy that you can get so many people from so many different cultures in one place and just, it just comes alive. You just learn so much and I've loved it. Absolutely loved it. Do you, do you like Smoky Manor? I company? love Smoky Manor. I love it. The house is beautiful. The feud is beautiful. Everything. The accommodations. The beds are comfortable. Yeah, you get bit by mosquitoes every once in a while. But the porch, best place on earth. That's where we've done most of our hanging out. The basketball court, the view is amazing. Like It just literally takes your breath away every single time you walk outside. Nothing ever gets old. The ride up the hill never gets old. Especially in the dark when you can see all the city lights. And everything is just amazing. You can find so much, you know, gratitude in just coming outside and grabbing some mangoes or just looking at animals around the place and the dogs come and play. Everything's just amazing. People just walk up and down and they say hello. I just love the area. I just love everything. How was the food? The food was bomb. Like every day I was like what are we gonna get to eat and it's something new every day something traditional and um, Louise puts her own little twist to everything and I promise you the best food you'll ever eat in your entire life I don't care where you're from it is just suits any palate and so I love it is there one event that really stood out in your mind since you've been here in Jamaica yes maroon when we went to go see the maroon being instilled it just showed the richness of Jamaican history and the struggles that the people had to go through in order to become who they are and to be able to still live in the um, the culture the richness it hasn't been taken away by being westernized way too much you can still see who the people are and um, I just loved how they appreciated their own history their own struggles their own um, identity and it made you want to be a part of it because they just you know celebrated it so well and so that was the one thing that just really stole my heart and just seeing so many people come together and work on behalf to help the indigenous people of this country and so and you could just see how much honor that they were given and so I just really appreciated that experience what advice would you give to persons thinking of joining our program come just come to Jamaica come and help they need it and they enjoy it and they welcome it they're most hospitable people you'll ever find and in fact you'll find that you're the one impacted more through the experience than you actually impacting them in my opinion that's how I felt and I just say come come to Jamaica it's a beautiful country it's the best thing you'll ever experience the, I just feel like I'm getting a little taste of heaven every time I'm here and so I just encourage everybody to come and enjoy Jamaica. Okay and finally would you recommend our program to your friends? I would absolutely anyone? recommend Jamaica Volunteer Program to any friend that I have because it really allows you to experience the country, its culture and just the the basics of who the people are yet at the same time giving back to them and encouraging them to become even a better country and so it's just an, a program that works and fits for almost anybody who loves to travel and who loves to help. And so if that's who you think you are, this is the program for you. Okay, Faith, thank you. It was, it was a pleasure speaking with you. A pleasure speaking with you as well. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs>